me, don't fuck with me, you're gonna see I'm trying to be all I can be, don't fuck with me, you're gonna see I'm trying to be all I can be You don't have to like me, just remember only What's up guys, how y'all doing? It is now Saturday morning at 5 o'clock in the morning So, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys a little bit about the whole Hurricane Matthew thing and um, like you saw in previous vlogs my parents they live in Florida they actually live right where it happened they live right outside of Daytona Beach it's, it's called Flagler Beach it's right outside of that whole area right like A1A if you guys know Florida it's like right in that area so uh one of my friends posted on Facebook some of the video of what actually was going on. So in case you missed it, I want to show you so you see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to post the video right now so you see, okay? So there was some video clips right there and uh, the first clip that you saw that was St. Augustine Beach which is only like uh, like half hour away from like the Flagler Beach Palm Coast area. The second clip that you saw was actually Flagler Beach on A1A and uh, that was the second video was from, a, from one of my friends on Facebook that lives in Flagler Beach and um, so it's devastating for everybody that's down there and it's it's scary you know especially I've been trying to call my parents and everything and their their phone doesn't work you know they got nothing going on down there and uh, I finally last night I finally got a hold of my parents neighbors uh, Earl and Yvette and uh, they said that you know, they just had some like minor stuff, like a tree fell in the yard, and some screens around the pool got ripped out, and little stuff. You know, no, no big destruction or damage, but it's still scary. You know, when you you can't get a hold of them, and you got a bunch of crazy stuff going on. It's it's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So, uh, <laughs> while while we're on the sad note, so. As you guys know that I started a new job, what, 
like three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, whatever. Yeah, three and a half weeks ago. So, um, uh, two nights ago, one of our, one of our crew members, one of our team, our safety manager, uh, Andrew Steinman, he was involved in a fatal accident where a tractor trailer fell in his truck. So that was, uh, really, really sad. He was only 30 years old. He was a young dude. So it's like, you know, it's, you, you never want to see that. So, you know, I didn't know him real well. I only met him. I only talked to him a few times, you know, so, uh, but it's still, nonetheless, he's part of our crew, you know, he's, he's one of our own. So, you know, I'm, today's vlog is going to be dedicated to him because, I mean, I, that just sucks. Nobody expects that, you know, it, it puts your, it puts your whole life into perspective when you don't understand how much life you have left. You know, everybody wants to live for today. Everyone wants to have a blast and do all kinds of wild stuff. You don't know how long your life's going to be, right? So you have to have fun. You have to have a, you know, do what you can, you know. But then again, it helps put your life in perspective because you, you know, everything that you do in your life, what is it going to amount to? You know, at the end of the day, you're a good person, you're a bad person, you know, you're rich, you're poor, you have a lot of nice things, you don't have a lot of nice things. At the end of the day, we're all the same, you know? So, not to get too deep into it, but today's vlog is going to be dedicated to Andrew because, uh, you know, from what I knew of him, he was a really good dude and, uh, Shit happens. I guess it was his time to go, and uh, you know, at least I got to meet him. You know, and uh, it's also it's also dedicated to Nana because uh, Friday was Nana's birthday. So uh, you know, you guys, if you guys didn't see it, I'll put it in the uh, information box up there about uh, we lost Nana from brain cancer, and Steph did the cancer walk and everything. So I'll put that up in the description. But you know, anyway, life goes on, right? So today, on a lighter note, <laughs> not to make everybody depressed, so on, to make everything better, on a lighter note, I have uh, somebody coming over today to look at buying the truck, so that'd be really cool, right? So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get that sold today, and then we'll have more money in the bank, and it makes us feel better about, you know, in case something happens. That's that's something that Progresso taught me. Always have money in the bank because you never know. They pull the rug out from under you, you know, we were protected. We had money in the bank. It was a good thing. But before that, I didn't. You know, waste it all. Spend as much money as you could. But, you know, that's what I learned. That you never know. So they pull the carpet out from under you and they're like, oh yeah, you were here for 10 years. That's great. Go on. So, that's my lesson for you guys. Make sure you live for today, you love your family, and make sure you put money away for a rainy day. Remember, that's a hashtag John Haggerty Vlogs comment for you guys. Put money away for a rainy day. Because you never know. You think your life's secure? You never know. You could be given the world and taking the world away from you all on the same day. You know, you win the lottery, you buy a Lamborghini, you know, ha have the day of your life driving around and then crash it and die. So, you never know. So live for today, love your family, and do the best you can. That's what you can do. Put money away for a rainy day. So, like I said, it is 5.30 in the morning, and that's my inspirational quote for you guys for today. So, <laughs> so I guess I'll end it here. Why not, right? So, thank you guys for everything you do. And uh, you guys are amazing. We're 265 strong right now. And uh, it's only getting better every day, guys. So, thanks for sticking with me. 
Give us a big blue thumbs up if you like this. Follow me on all social media. And thank you guys for everything you do every day. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Come on, guys. We're out here at the park. Uh, oh, you know. He didn't introduce you. I know. I don't know why. I'm just like acting like you it's my vlog. Yourself? No, go on, man. Everybody, Lance 210. What's going on, Plug guys? Over here. We just found him out in the park. Why do I? Hold on. Why did I do that? See, I, okay. see, I'm like, I'm like used to myself vlogging, and I'm like, yeah, we just found him in the park. Yeah, like, we found me in the park because I was lost, wandering around, and Lance was like, hey, <laughs> Mister, I don't know you, but come here because you're lost. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> well, it was great to meet you, man. You too, bro. <laughs> what are you used to? Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you used to edit your vlogs? Uh, I use iMovie because like I'm retarded and I can't use it. <laughs> I, I saw yeah, you were trying using. to use Final Cut. It's kind of like I used to use this program called Sony Vegas on my Windows yeah. computer and then I started using the iMac and I didn't know any of the programs to use so I just used Final Cut and I got used to it. It's like yeah. the closest thing to Sony Vegas. But I've tried using iMovie before. It's a lot easier if you get used to uh, using Final Cut. I'm going to have to try quicker. It. Yeah. yeah.